Okay, this is the second uh, video. Uh, determine the point estimate of the population proportion, the margin of error for the following confidence interval, and the number of individuals in the sample with the specified characteristic X. If you have the lower bound and the upper bound, and you need to find a point estimate for the population proportion, which is called P hat, P with a hat on top of it, you just add the left, the upper bound, and the lower bound, and you divide by the, an the answer by 2. So I put him in the calculator, I'll add him, and then I divide by 2, and this is your p hat. Now the margin of error, how do you find the margin of error if you have the lower bound and the upper bound of the confidence interval? You subtract the lower bound from the upper bound and divide by 2, so it will be uh, 0 0.302 minus 0 0.098 press enter and then divide the answer by 2 so to find the p hat you add him divide by 2 to, to find the margin of error you subtract and divide by 2 now he wants the x we know p hat is x over n so to find x you just do p hat times n and p hat happen to be what when we add him up and divide by 2 is 0 0.4 so x will be 0 0.4 times the sample size which is 12,000 and that would be your answer make sure if you don't get a whole number to round to the nearest whole number A national survey of 2500 adult criticized uh, citizens of a nation found that 24% dreaded valentine's day the margin of error for the survey was 90.7 percentage point with 85 percent confidence okay he wants us to explain what this means okay so we have the sample proportion which is 24 percent this is a p hat and we have the margin of error which is what was it in the question 9.7 percent e your confidence interval is p hat minus e and then p hat plus e so you take 24 percent and subtract 9.7 percent and you take 24 percent and add uh, 9.7 percent so that should be a 14.3 percent and if you add a 9.7, that would be a 33.7%. So we are 80, what was the interval here? Uh, we are 85% confidence that the true proportion is between 14.3%, so it's C, and 33.7%. A random sample of 1,027 adults in a certain large country was asked, do you pretty much think televisions are a necessity or a luxury you could do without? Of the 1,027 adults surveyed, 525 indicated that televisions are a luxury that they could do uh, without. Complete parts A uh, through E. He wants a P hat. P hat by definition is X over N. And to find x over n, guys, you just take the 525 and divide it by uh, 1027. And the answer is 0 0.5. How many decimals does he want? Three. So it would be 0 0.511. That would be the answer. The next question, verify that the requirements for constructing confidence interval about P are satisfied. Okay, the requirements are, the sample must be a simple random sample. It's the same requirement in any problem. So if you have another exercise, you just take, you know, the same requirements. So the sample has to be a simple random sample. And we have to have n p hat times 1 minus p hat to be greater than 10. n here is 1025. So I'm going to do it right here, 1025 
times p hat you just did it it's 0 0.504 which is x over n times 1 minus p hat just open parentheses and put 1 minus 0 0.504 and enter and you get 256.23 uh, which he says uh, round to two decimal places so this is a greater than 10 and the sample size can always be assumed to be less than 5% of the population size. So these are standards you have to, uh, when you are asked to verify the assumptions, these are the assumptions that we always make. The second question is to construct a 95% confidence interval. And this is where I don't want you to do the work by hand. This is how you construct the interval. It is an interval for the proportion. So watch, you go to stat tests now we're gonna go to tests okay we want a proportion interval not z not t just keep going and it is right here letter a one proportion z interval so when you are asked to find the interval for a proportion this is where you go and look how easy it is he wants the x value which is 517 enter he wants n which is what 1025 and you need the confidence level which is 0 0.95 and uh, hit calculate and look it is 0 0.474 and 0 0.535 here you go you can see that so we are 95 percent confident that the proportion of adults in the country who believe that televisions are a luxury they could do without is between 47 0 0.474 and 0 0.535 uh, D, is it possible that a supermajority, more than 60% of adults in the country, believe that television is a luxury? Well, according to the interval, we're 95% confident it is between 47% and 53%. But it is possible, but not likely, because the, the interval assure us with 95% confidence that the true proportion is less than 53% but more than 47%. So here is the answer. It is possible but not likely that a super majority of adults in the country believe that television is a luxury they could do without because the 95% does not contain the 60%. It goes as high as 53%. All right. So this is... Uh, this is uh, question 17. Question 18, determine the point estimate of the population mean and the margin of error. So let's do that one more time here. Okay, to find the point estimate, you just add up the value and divide by two. So 18 plus 24 is 42 and divided by two is 21. The margin of error, you subtract and divide by two. 18 subtract from 24 is 6 divided by 2 is 3 and you can see the answers there. Okay, it's about confidence intervals. A simple random sample of size n is drawn from a population that's normal distribution. The sample mean x bar is found to be 109. The sample standard deviation s is found to be 10. Construct an 80% confidence interval when the sample size is 25. Here is how you do it. So you go to stat, tests, we need an interval. Okay, we have Z interval and T interval. We use T interval here because he gives us S sample standard deviation instead of sigma population standard deviation. The only time where you use a Z interval when he gives you sigma, but he didn't. You can see it's a clearly S. So T interval enter okay uh, x bar is what uh, he says 109 enter uh, s he says 10 sample size is 25 and what confidence level we need 80 percent confidence okay hit calculate and here's the interval 106.36 111.63 he says round to one decimal, you can see that. Uh, 
construct now 80% confidence if the mean, if the sample size is 29 so let's go back t interval okay all i need guys is to change this to 29 and here we go uh, construct a 96% confidence interval with the sample size is uh, 25 so you don't you're not really supposed to do any of this work by hand it's using the calculator so I'm just gonna uh, change this one to 96% confidence level the interval is gonna wind widen as you increase the confidence level there you go 105 to 113 okay and uh, what else uh, construct on nine so okay sample size is 20 oh I did that 29 sorry it should have been 25 I was wondering why the answers are slightly different so he says uh, 25 you can see I put I left n as 29 it should be 25 and now it's gonna match with the answers that you see on the screen there you go 104.7 and 113.3 okay as the level of confidence increase the size of the interval increase could we have computed the confidence interval in part a and c if the population was not normally distributed if the population is not bell shaped you have to have a sample size of 30 or more and since all the sample sizes that we had were less than 30, we could not do it if the population is not normally distributed. But he says it is a normally distributed population. All right. Uh, next uh, question. Uh, the following data represent the pH of rain uh, for a random sample of 12 rain dates. A normal probability plot suggests the data could come from a population that's normally distributed. A box plot indicates that there are no outliers. Okay, questions. Determine a point estimate for the population mean and then he wants us to construct a confidence interval. So here is how you do it. First of all, I'm, I'm going to try to do this using uh, static crunch. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click here. When you have a data set, click open in static crunch and I'll show you what happened next. So I'm going to open in static crunch. Okay, so I click on it. I open in static crunch to find a confidence interval. Here's how you do it. You go to stat. It's T. Any always when you have a raw data set, it's T. I have only one sample. I have the data. So click with data what i need a confidence interval so select confidence interval 0 0.95 and hit compute oh we didn't select the column variable one okay there you go so the lower limit is 4.819 and the upper limit of the interval is 5.3 and he wants the sample mean as well the sample mean is already given to you it's 5.069 uh, so this is how you solve uh, this problem you see the solution we're 90 percent confident that the population mean is between 4.82 5.32 and this is 5.07 another way you can do this problem you can type in the data in here stat edit put it in l1 and then go to stat tests t interval enter select data because you have the set and select the list where you put the data in and then uh, don't change the frequency and just go to 95 and then hit calculate you're going to get the exact same interval but it's faster and easier using uh, static crunch uh, same question you just put the data in l1 or you can do it in static crunch let's do it again in uh, so uh, to do this you go to stat t stats one sample with data uh, select the variable select the confidence level and just click on uh, compute right here 
and you get the interval the lower limit upper limit and the sample mean he wants the sample mean as well 